Chapter 2 Say, how old are you, Oni? asked Carl, the mail car supervisor. Because this is a true story, some of the questions are hard to answer. No one really knows. Patting the dog, Horace said, he, he don't know, he's just an orphan dog, crept into the post office one day, and now he gets to ride all the mail trains, eh, Oni? <laughs> Lucky dog, said Carl. Oni had adventures at home, too. One day, everyone thought he was missing. The mail clerks unloading the mail expected Oni to be on the wagon because he was always so responsible and dependable. He was always where he was supposed to be. To make things worse, there was a missing mail bag. A double mystery. Blocks away from the post office, Oni and the lost pouch were found. The pouch had fallen off the wagon and Oni had stayed behind. Someone had to protect the mail. You know, little friend, I was really worried about you, Owen said. You may be a hero now, but you had me scared there. It wasn't long before Oni's mail-trained adventures took him further and further away from his home station of Albany. And during this time, an interesting thing happened. Everywhere he went, a note was pinned to his collar, asking employees of the railway mail service to attach a special bagging tag of leather or metal to Oni's collar to show where he had been traveling. Very soon, Oni had an impressive collection of tags, and he had many new friends. New friends like Winona Kilbridge of the Los Angeles Kennel Club, who gave him a medal for being the best traveled dog of 1893. And Walter Banning of Grand Rapids, Michigan, who had the dog show there and gave Oni a special medal. Sissy Donahue, daughter of the president of the Pacific Kennel Club, gave Oni an inscribed half dollar and a special hook. In Chicago, Mr. William Winter Wagner gave Oni a Globe Trotter medal. Little did Mr. W. W. Wagner know that this medal would represent a part of Oni's future. Finally, he met the Postmaster General, John Wanamaker, who made a long speech about how Oni was now the official mascot of the Rail Mail Service. He presented Oni with a special jacket to carry his many awards and baggage tags. 